live out here in East Terosi. I was raised by my grandparents. They lived just around the corner from here. My grandmother would be watering the lawn, her flowers, and, and I would say, uh, I would say mommy, because we'd call her mommy. Mommy, you know, can I have a, you know, a drink of water just right out of the, the water hose? <laughs> East Erosi is a small community services district. It's located in eastern Tulare County. And they have some challenging issues which are kind of emblematic of other issues in Tulare County. They are experiencing some level of decreased capacity, probably due to drought conditions. And water quality in East Erosi has been over the nitrate MCL since at least 2003. Typically, it's anthropogenic sources, so fertilizer and animal waste. The animal waste could be from animals, pasture, or maybe larger scale agribusiness. If you have a fixed level of contaminant, say, and you decrease, you know, kind of the overall volume of water, simply the concentration goes up, and all of our health effects are essentially based on a concentration. The drinking water, um, we can't uh, drink it. We go uptown and we take our five gallons uh, jugs and we fill them up. We fill those up and then uh, we bring them home and we use those for drinking, for cooking, brushing our teeth, washing our vegetables, fruits. Sometimes we don't realize how much we need the water until we're there and, uh, and we need we need water for everything, you know, to make Kool-Aid, to make iced tea, to make coffee, to make your pot of beans, to make a soup. Right now I'm um, raising three of my granddaughters. They're little, so they, they really don't know and understand. A few times I caught my granddaughter drinking it, and she knows, you know, she's not too, but, you know, they're kids. There's some big challenges for East Erosi CSD. First is that a lot of the groundwater in the area is contaminated with nitrate, so you can't just go across the street and drill a well and expect it to meet all drinking water standards. And then also something that is new for me at least, and this is a drought impact, is that the willingness of landowners out there to actually sell their land has gone down and the price has gone up because of the water. I attend a monthly Tulare County Office of Emergency Services kind of roundtable meeting. One thing that I hear every month is how many wells were drilled in Tulare County this year, you know, from January 1st versus last year. And I'll tell you, it's tracking about two to one. So even last year when we were in a drought, we're double of 2014. Especially larger wells, they they impact these smaller guys quite a bit because the smaller guys' wells are probably shallower and older and whatnot, and as the water table drops, I mean, it's simple. Drill a bunch of wells, make them produce a lot of water, and the water table is gonna drop. Better management of the groundwater on a regional level it's a fantastic idea and needs to be implemented. I remember as a little girl, we'd be running, it'd be hot, we'd be running around, playing tag, whatever it was that we would be doing. Uh, we'd uh, make little uh, stops, run inside and grab that uh, glass and, you know, pull it up from the, uh, you know, the tap water, you know, it, it was great. It was good. And now, you know, it's just so different. It is the way of the way it is. It's the way of life, but I, I believe that it shouldn't be that way. I believe, you know, that we we shouldn't worry about our water. That we, if we want to take that glass of water and fill it up out of our faucet, we should be able to. 